Hi, my name is Niu Yanqing. My metric number is A1980401. Now, I am going to present the name of company, nature of our business, and our organization structure. First of all, our company name is Victoria Bakery, and our nature of business is food service. Victoria Bakery will provide a various type of bread, cookies, and cake to satisfy the customer. Victoria Bakery is a partnership business, which is formed by our six members. Apart from that, Victoria Bakery is operate in private sector and the type of our business is manufacturing business. Besides, our business proposals is setting up a bakery in Kuala Lumpur. Although there are a lot of competitors, but Victoria Bakery will stand out from the competition due to our outstanding quality. Furthermore, our target market are all customer gender, all customer age, and the people who love eating the bread, cookies and cakes. We will promote our business through social media channels like Twitter, Facebook and Instagram in order to advertise our products to community and reach our target market. For the mission and vision, Victoria Bakery missions are to offer high quality food to customers and promote customer satisfaction and Victoria Bakery vision is to become a well-known bakery brand in Malaysia. For the organization structure, Victoria Bakery organization structure have six executive positions which are shop manager, assistant shop manager, sales manager, marketing manager, Operation Manager and Financial Manager First, Show Managers of Victoria Bakery is responsible for making major company decisions and managing the overall operation. Second, the positions of Assistant Shop Manager in Victoria Bakery is responsible for assisting the shop manager in planning and developing company strategy plan to improve company productivity, overseeing daily business activity, and managing staff. Besides, Sales Manager is responsible for setting sales target, creating and develop sales plan, identifying our target customer, and promoting our bakery product. In addition, the positions of marketing manager is responsible for creating marketing strategy, training the marketing team, and managing the performance of the marketing team. Furthermore, operation manager is responsible for preparing and developing operational plan, develop operation system such as determining product handling, managing, and shipping inventory. Last but not least, Financial manager is responsible for preparing company financial plan, obtaining funding, and managing the financial decision. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Iliana Shafika binti Zokefli and my metric number is A19A0581. So today I want to talk about product or services offered. Victoria Bakery supplying dessert-based foods. Victoria Bakery has a dessert like bread, cookies and cakes. Thus, Victoria Bakery ensures that products that are released that day must be sold in just a few days to avoid expiration date. But for cookies, it has a long shelf life and the cake lasts the longest is a week. The products that we produce are always clean and guaranteed to be liked by many. In contrast, the value of a service often comes from the inventory benefit that the customer purchase from the why using the service. The services that we offer from Victoria Bakery is a light cash on delivery, is COD and delivery to anyone who order a lot for any celebration or events. In conclusion, every day we always prioritize customers who go to Victoria Bakery. Victoria Bakery also always provide good product and services to customers. Design of good and services. The objective is to cover raw dough into bread, set structure of product, crush and crumb formation, kill step, and shelf life attention. Variable to monitor and control include temperature, time, governed in continuous ovens by conveying speed. Other relevant variables include head, flood, humidity, and air velocity of flow. Baking time controlled by oven temperature, conveying speed, initial and final product temp temperature, heating pattern, bake loss, product lock and formulation. Baking equipment is direct fire oven, indirect fire oven, electric oven, rack oven, rear oven, conveying rice, turner, hybrid and impeachment oven. Process specification is 10 to 20 minutes at 400 to 420 degree Fahrenheit. Hi, I'm Nancy. I will explain about managing quality. Around the bakery, many areas can improve the safety and quality of product. Here are the steps to maintain product safety and quality. Product quality. Number one, the baker need to be trained and follow all the processes strictly. Number two, insection of raw material for making bread when entering the store warehouse. 
Number three, use fresh ingredients and organic ingredients when making products. Number four, when producing a product, must follow all the steps specific so that the quality and quality of product according to the standard. Product safety and hygiene. Number one, follow all rules set regarding food safety. Number two, money carry out in store pet remove producer. Number three, carry out daily cleaning operation. Number four, equipment clear liners and check daily. Number five, maintain personal hygiene before making a product. Hi, I'm Nancy. I will explain about process and capacity design. Process and capacity design refer to the food and process required to transform raw material into finished product as well as production method and configuration. They have seven steps for bread baking. Number one, mixing ingredient. Prepare the necessary raw material and mix the ingredient using a mixture machine. Raw material such as yeast, flour, sugar, salt, baking powder. Mix the dough evenly. Then add margarine or softening and liquid ingredient such as add milk and water. Mix it become a cross dough. Number two, kneading. After that, Use a machine to kneading the dough so that the cross dough become soft, smooth, elastic, and active the yeast to expand the dough. Number three, fermentation. After kneading, place the dough in a large container and cover with plastic so that it does not dry out during fermentation. Leave the fermentation dough on for about 45 minutes. Number four, remove a bubble. Remove the air in the dough after fermentation by kneading again. Once the dough removes air, the dough will become softer and cut into the required shape. Number five, second fermentation. Once the dough is formed, place it on bread mold and let it form again for 20 minutes. Number six, baking. After the second fermentation is complete, the dough can be baked at a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Fatina Jihar Binti Zulkafli and my metric number is A1980148. So today I will present about the location strategy for a Victoria Bakery. Uh, a location strategy is a plan to achieve the best location for a business by determining the needs and goals of the business and looking for places with this that are consistent with these needs and goals. So for our company which is Victoria Bakery, we choose a KL Central for our location. So the first one is cost and risk. This usually means that the organization will aim to optimize opportunities while mi mitigating costs and risks. Also, having a strong location strategy enables us to achieve the perfect locations compatible with the needs and priorities of our business. Once that help the company to optimize opportunities while mi minimizing costs and risks. And the second is in recruiting and maintaining the best workers. Good location decisions will improve the long-term success of an organization significantly. For poor people, lost talent, productivity, and money will cost million. Why do we choose KL Center for our business is because Victoria Bakery location approach focuses on urban centers, especially those with large population of the middle and upper class. Much of its bakeries are in places that are heavily populated. Victoria Bakery also occasionally use bakery strategic clustering in the same geographical region to gain market share and scare away, away rivers. And the last one is the KL Center is a busy street. This is one of the important factors because our bakery rising the number of customers in a vibrant atmosphere as the area with the highest daily population concentration and the most in intensive land use KL Center is also the area that generates the most traffic in most cities. For the layout strategies, this bakery layout illustrates the layout of the baking equipment and bakery furniture. A bakery is an enterprise that manufactures and sells Floor-based foods such as bread, cookies, cake, pastries, and pies, which is baked in an oven. So for the first one is bakery floor plan. Our Victoria Bakery choose a straight floor plan because it was one of the most effective and cost-effective floor plans and is highly recommended for the bakery. And there is a benefit of having a straight floor plan for our bakery, which is at right angles. The features and screens are arranged, allowing the most effective use of both the floor and wall space. The second is refrigeration. Indoor mixing refrigeration is necessary because of the heat generation and the need to regulate the temperature of the dough at the end of the mix. 
The third is Baker's table. Baker's table is important in preparation of the dough. It's the first step in producing bread or any other baked good. Baker's table was important for the consistency and texture of the final product to get the dough mixed properly. The fourth is dove dividers and shelters. The dividers and the shelters are excellent labor save savers and help us to increase our production quality. The fifth is ovens that the installation of mixers, oven and warmers is needed for a bakery store. And the last one is pan rod. A roll in red oven is similar to a roll in refrigerator or proofing cabinet in that we can wheel a pan rod full of items right into the baking oven. Assalamualaikum and hi to Sir Muhammad Nizamuddin bin Abdul Rahim. My name is Nur Shahira binti Ridwan Abindi and my matrix number is A19A0625. Today I would like to explain briefly about human resource and job design. The first one is motivation and advice. The CEO for the Victoria Bakery is Fatin Najihah binti Zulkifli. Ms. Fatin had used human resources and job design to allocate and manage her staff or employees in this bakery shop. So, Ms. Fatin always gives some motivation, advice and good suggestion to her staff and employees. Ms. Fatin also has always kept his employees well so that the employees can perform well without facing any problem when they do their tasks at workplace. The second one is selection and recruitment process. Victoria Bakery had made a selection based on their self-motivated, hard work, lightness, good personality with attitude and ability to work in a team. This is very important to ensure that the workflow is running smoothly and it is in good working order. The third one is marketing. Victoria Bakery always give a friendly environment. The employees in our bakery shop always play the role of the friendly environment so that our customer always feel welcome. We also will keep the lines of communication open where we we always greet our customer when they are entering to our bakery shop and we give a calm good environment with a comfortable and cozy place to sit and enjoy our foods with a great ambient. The next one is safety policy. The example of safety policy in Victoria Bakery is the arrangement of the machines, oven and the equipment is well organized so that no injury occurs while performing tasks. Workers are also required to wear the neat attires and also aprons, mask and glove. Cover heat and wearing clothes shoes during the process of baking also important for our bakery shop to ensure proper hygiene. Besides that, sir, the services that we want to highlight is we we'll always retain the high quality of the maintenance in our bakery shop. Victoria Bakery will take the cleanliness and maintenance matters as the serious and top priority in order to maintain the best version of the bakery service. The bakery will be power washed and clean every night, includes all the tools in the bakery like all utensils, mixers, oven cleaning, and, and all the table inside and outside the kitchen. Therefore, our customer will be satisfied with our organization and they will be loyal and keep buying our products in this bakery. Last one is reward and composition will be provided to the workers in Victoria Bakery. Ms. Fatin will always give a bonus and reward to, to her employees in this bakery shop. Thank you. The next topic is supply chain management. Victoria Bakery had used supply chain management to oversee all the processes that integrate supplies to work efficiently together to move a product from creation to the customer's hand, taking into account supply and demand along the way. Therefore, the supply chain management that Victoria Bakery had used is the first one is raw materials, the second one is research and development, the third one is manufacturing, the fourth one is marketing, the fifth one is distribu distribution, and the last one is the services. Thank you. Good morning to sir and my friends. I'm Gan Siting and my metric number is A19A0159. Today, I'm going to present scheduling of our bakery. Scheduling is a process of optimizing, controlling and arranging tasks and workloads in manufacturing process and production process. A good, efficient and effective scheduling will become competitive advantage for our business because scheduling can make the movement of goods and delivery faster. Due to this, we can minimize wastage, customer waiting time, working process inventory and completion time while maximizing profit. There are five scheduling decisions for our bakery. This slide shows cyclical scheduling of our bakery. Cyclical scheduling is used to determine the staffing requirements. From the table, we can see that we have total five employees and all of them will be given two days off every week. The number which wrote in bold means the employee is off in that day. Staff required in Monday is four people, Tuesday is three people, Wednesday is three people, Thursday is four people, Friday is three people, Saturday is three people, but no one is being given off in Sunday because demand of bread and puddings are high in that day. We are not just sell our dessert in bakery, we also undertake order for several events to increase our revenue. In example, birthday party and full month birthday party. To make sure we can complete our working time, we use to create a gun chart to arrange our activities and jobs. Gun schedule chart is a lot chart which display relative workload in expected time. 
From the Gantt chart, we can see that scheduled activity time allowed for job A is five, day, five days, and we finish it in four days. While scheduled activity time allowed for job B is same with actual work progress. For job C, scheduled activity time allowed is five days, but actual work progress is four days. Sequencing is priority rules to specify the order in which jobs, events, or tasks should be performed at work center. The priority rule that our bakery uses is first come, first serve. From the table below, we know that pro processing time for job A, B, and C. And it is zero job learners for these three jobs because we finish each order before due date. By using the data in this table, we can calculate the average completion time, utilization metric, average number of jobs in the system, and average job learners. That's all for scheduling. Now I'm going to present maintenance of our bakery. Maintenance is a process of keeping company equipment and machine in good working condition to make sure our business activities can be run efficiently and increase life of machine and equipment. There are six functions in maintenance. Maintenance practice that our bakery chose to use is scheduling maintenance. Scheduling maintenance is we do the machine and equipment maintenance according to recommendations of supplier. Um, I have to do a maintenance schedule for machineries in our bakery. From the schedule, we can see that all machineries need to do minor check every year to make sure they are always in good condition as our work can be run fluency. But bread slicer, oven and refrigerator need to do overhauling every year. It is because cutter of bread slicer need to be replaced every year. While doing overhauling for oven is to make sure the temperature of the oven is always stable. Sometimes when the oven is old, the temperature of oven will be different with the temperature that we set. In example, we set 150 degrees Celsius to bake chiffon cakes, but temperature of the old oven may become 200 degrees Celsius when 200 degrees Celsius. When this situation happens, all chiffon cakes that we bake will burn and wastage happen. Refrigerator without overhauling have same problem with oven, which is facing unstable temperature. This will lead our cakes and puddings inside the refrigerator spoil. For the inventory management, inventory management refers to the mechanism that enables an enterprise to flow products effectively and efficiently with the company's current inventory. The inventory management process requires careful monitoring of the units from one location to another and prevent the stock from being too large. So the first one is purchase order. We can easily manage our vendors relationship with the built-in purchase order feeders in a bakery point of sale which is Victoria Bakery. Bakery owners can put reorders on the fly on the back end and have those number reflect in the point of sale automatically. The second is ingredients level inventory. The inventory counts of Victoria Bakery should be accurate and able to keep track in return of modifications. And in fact, as soon as the recipe is produced, inventory depletion begins. So inventory shouldn't just be subtract at the same time of purchase. We only need to change the value of an ingredient with bakery inventory software as well as the number of times it is run by the actual year. To facilitate the most reliable inventory calculation at the exact time, the recipe has been made. The third one is record keeping. Record keeping is the foundation for all inventory management. For Victoria Bakery, we use a dedicated inventory so software program that will allow us to monitor inventory levels across several different product and materials. And the last one is sales dates and analytics. For Victoria Bakery, by looking at what's really selling, we maximize the inventory. So understanding sales data helps us to understand what goods are most common with our consumers, what we may need to work on an upselling campaign, or what we may need to discontinue from the product mix and assist us in predicting our inventory. That's all from me. Thank you. Conclusion As a result, these 10 strategy, operation management strategies can increase the productivity in process management and shape a systematic operation plan for business purpose. Besides boosting the overall sale of Victoria Bakery, this improvement can reduce the negative outcomes such as temporary shortage of raw supply, bad reputation and negative feedback from customer while in operation activities. Okay, that's all from our group. Thank you.